I'm about to uh, to go to sleep, and uh, if I look creepy right now, it's because of the um, flashlight in my other phone. So I um, already uh, test streamed on YouTube, and of course uh, tested the test the chat commands. Up to now, I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't access the chat through OBS, so I had to test uh, test the chat commands over at YouTube itself. And uh, everything worked out. Everything worked out fine. So um, I'm uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go several hours from now. So uh, I really need this beauty sleep. <laughs> but what am I driving at here, Randy? Well. You got to prepare, but not prepare too much, All right? Because it would be, well, as a content creator, it would be better for you to um, to adjust on the fly than make all the adjustments before you actually do it, for you, like before you actually stream. Because you would get uh, you would get the proper feedback from from your viewers, right? But make only the necessary preparations, right? Don't overdo it. Never overdo a uh, a uh, preparation stage, right? It'll cost you number one time and well energy. Before well before you know it, by the time you by the time you stream or record a video you're probably too um, too stressed out to do it all right so don't overdo it but only do the necessary preparations all right so here's my power tip for you reddit don't overdo it but always remember preparation is still key I just ended my stream and uh, took a gander again at this uh, LinkedIn post by Mark Cuban. Entrepreneurs like him are starting to notice the value of blockchain, right? But who did start blockchain? Bitcoin, right? The technology uh, behind blockchain is, uh, well, I may not be familiar with it, but it sounds superb, right? Blockchain is like uh, it's like having it's like having your own vault, okay. airtight. No one can no one can get in, and the only one who and the only one who can get in is you. Right, that's basically the principle of blockchain. There are a lot of uses for blockchain actually, and Mark Cuban I think is slowly. Uh, Taking that into consideration and slowly exploring that, which is a good thing. What am I driving at here, LinkedIn? Because successful people like Mark Cuban know the value of technology. All right. If you could not value technology, you'd be the first one to lose money. All right. People who underappreciate technology are actually the ones losing money right now. They are missing deliberately. Okay? They are deliberately missing out on opportunities to, to uh, advance their lives, their incomes, and probably well, uh, their legacies. Right. So here's my power tip for you, LinkedIn. If you want to have a legacy, embrace technology. Right. So easy to do. Okay. Now I'm not asking you to invest in Bitcoin or cryptocurrencies or whatever. That that that's your money. But if you don't appreciate. Uh, 
technology now, you might not have you might not have a legacy later on. Completely missing out on technology can make you lose money these days. So again, my power tip. If you want to leave a legacy, appreciate technology. I'm just uh, preparing to go to bed. And well, before I do that, I'd like to uh, leave this on Instagram. I was, well, a few hours ago, I was doing my laundry. I was engaging my Twitch audience, uh, not exactly, no, the co -stream, my co-streamers on Twitch, and uh, editing, uh, editing yesterday's reviews. So, basically, it's multitasking at its finest. But, um, what exactly is multitasking? It's, well, like the word says, you're doing different tasks at the same time. But multitasking 20 years ago is entirely different from multitasking now. What am I driving at here, Instagram? Well, things weren't so complicated 20 years ago. So multitasking was a lot easier to do. But these days, you got you got to manage your social media. You have to um, fulfill your obligations at home. And, well, of course, uh, you have to take care of the life the lifeblood of your brand. In my case, it's uh, the anime reviews. So, I did not actually do all three of those things at the same time. All right? Whichever I have a free minute on, that's what I'm going to do. Like, uh, when the washing machine has stopped turning, laundry time. While it's still turning, I edit my videos. And while the washing machine is running, and if I, I'm not inspired for... Uh, for a few minutes I engage on Twitch all right so there's not exactly an order of priority here but an order of um, preference okay. what do I prefer to do while I am waiting for this task to finish all right so that's what multitasking is all about these days making good use of your time so here's my power tip instagram multitasking is relevant if and only if you prioritize or while in a lull do something worthwhile I'm just about ready to go to bed TikTok, but uh, I realized I I really need to do this uh, this entry for my uh, well for my for my friends here. It's about um, what I discovered from what I discovered on TikTok recently. It's called um, that exclusive feature where you uh, where the length of the video is no longer limited to one minute. It's now three minutes right so i was able to um take down part one of the anime minute which is actually it's uh, no not part one episode one which is a two-part episode uh at that time it was only uh, one minute was only allowed so right now i uh, tinkered it through my uh my video editing app here on my phone unified it and it's now just one and it's now just one part all right so i re-uploaded it as that not only that i also i also was able to upload uh the latest episode of the anime minute as it is right i did not have to cut it into two parts all right so 
That's why it's called the anime minute. It'll only last more or less a minute. <laughs> but what am I driving at here, TikTok? You know, first and foremost, I want to commend you for, um, well, for finally extending uh, the maximum time limit for a single for a single TikTok clip. All right? Three minutes is... Uh, is golden when it comes to content okay three minutes is golden when it comes to content why well you can explain a lot in three minutes you can explain yourself in three minutes you can express yourself in three minutes it's more than enough it is more than enough but to those who are um, who aren't uh, in on it yet, who are just doing TikTok like uh, like it's some hobby or something, you know what, guys? It's time to express yourselves on TikTok. Right? The maximum limit is now three minutes. That's an eternity of content. Right? If basketball has its last two minutes calling it uh, uh it's an eternity in basketball here in uh in the in, in the world of content creation three minutes is an eternity it's more than it's more than an eternity actually All right so here's my power tip for you tiktok the longer your content is the better you can express yourself tiktok just created the advantage just TikTok just gave you an advantage. Use it. I just um, came across this little post from Daniel Abrahams over at LinkedIn. Before I actually start discussing about this, make sure to give him a follow if you have LinkedIn. Now, the first pie graph held true for me probably when I was in my late 20s. Yeah, my late 20s. Um, I wanted nothing but money and um, probably prestige, but most of the time it was money. Because, well, I wasn't ashamed of myself when, uh, when I was still literally asking money from my parents and okay i was in my late 20s mind you at the slightest um amount of money i would go to uh, go to the nearest mall and yeah spend it all like uh playing uh, playing in the video playing in the video arcades uh, watching one or two movies in one day yeah I did that fast forward to now I'm not exactly proud of that uh, of that time in my life all right because well this post of his uh, quickly reminded me that uh, I should try um, well, um, hitting my twenty, well, my late twenty self in the head for doing that. Cause right now uh, I'm paying for what he did. Okay. I got nothing to show for financially yet, and. Right now, uh, not because of the pandemic, but uh, of my own doing. My network marketing career is um, is nowhere. It's leading me nowhere. That's why I was uh, I decided to pivot to pursue my passions, which is which is anime and uh, personal development. What am I driving at here? Telegram. Well, 
if I were given a chance to go back in time and well to personally meet my to personally meet late twenties me I will tell him this you stupid as fuck asshole Wag kang gasa, wag kang gagasos agad kapag nakatanggap ka ng pera. I'm not saying that you should uh, you should uh, put all your money in the bank or invest all your money in something. But at least save some for yourself. Pay yourself first. If I had the financial uh, if I had back then the financial knowledge I have now my life today would be a completely different story all right I might be super successful I might be uh, I might have yeah I might have uh, money in the bank right now I might be living independently. I might be out of this house, out of this place, living, uh, living independently. It just goes to show you that um, whatever, whatever bad mental mistakes you've uh, you've ever made when you were young, you will realize them. Probably 15, 20 years from now. Okay, because whatever whatever mistakes you made when you were younger, it'll all come to a head when you were older. When you become older. Like me. So here's my power tip for you, Telegram. When you're young, think twice about making a mistake. Especially the big mental ones. That time, I admit, I made probably the biggest mental mistake I have ever made in my life, which is to um, which is to automatically splurge the money you earn. So while you were young, while you're young, get some financial education. All right. Well, in short, money doesn't actually age. You are.